Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Marielle and thank you so much for watching. So I kind of look a little weird today in my outfit because I am actually going to recreate the um, scar makeup that I posted on my Instagram and Facebook. People seem to like it so I figured let's film it, put it out there in case somebody wants to use it for Halloween. Um, so yeah, I figured let's do that. I think I'm going to do a voiceover just so I can speed certain things up and kind of make it a quicker video. Um, and yeah, if you want to see what I look like at the end of this video, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Thank you so much. Alright, just to start, I know I said it's going to be a voiceover and it will in a second, but I wanted just to show you what I was using. So I'm using this Mayron Makeup Palette. It's kind of full of like primary colors. Um, this is a Paradise Palette and it is water activated paints. So basically they're kind of like a cream. You kind of dig them out once they get wet. They get thinner and they're a little bit easier to work with. So I'm going to be using that primarily. I'm going to be using the Dose of Colors um, Frankation Palette, that guy, and I'm going to be using my Violet Voss Essentials Palette that I got um, in my BoxyCharm a couple weeks or months ago. And I also got these, this brush set from this brand Transon on Amazon. This um, whole set was like... 16 bucks, I think. Um, so they really came in handy. Sorry, I just dropped one. Uh, so yeah, let's get this thing started. All right, you guys, to start off, we're gonna dip into the orange and the brown. Definitely more orange than brown. We just wanna make it a little bit darker orange. And we're gonna take a kind of thin paintbrush and line the perimeter of the face. And then we're gonna fill in the inside of that perimeter I'm going to use a beauty blender. You can use whatever you'd like. Perfect. Once we have our orange kind of filled in, I'm just going to take a black eyeliner and line the outside of the orange. That way we can start filling the outer perimeter with black. You can do this using like the paint and a paintbrush if you wanted to. I just thought it was easier using a, an eyeliner uh, to kind of get it done. Once we finish outlining the face, then we'll just dip into the black uh, water activated paint on a thicker brush and fill in the perimeter of the face. I kind of go down the middle of the neck too to mimic his main. Just keep in mind, the more water you add, the thinner the consistency of this uh, paint. So just something to remember. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the white cream paint and mix it with the tiniest, tiniest bit of brown to kind of make a very faint tan shade. And we're going to kind of fill in the muzzle area. So anywhere we don't have black or orange, we're going to fill in with the tan shade. We kind of make two little peaks around the nose just because if you look at pictures of him, that's kind of how it looks. Um, but I'm just going to kind of speed through this. You get the idea. Fill it all in. So now we're going to move on to the nose. We're going to take that same black eyeliner and kind of just fill in the very tip of our nose following the curves of the nose and filling in everything below that. Once we fill it all in, we're going to draw two little peaks down the side of each, no each nostril just to elongate the nose a little bit, make it look a little bit bigger, and then we'll connect the nose to the upper lip. 
So we're kind of going to move on to the hair like strokes. We're going to take a really thin paintbrush and just dip into that black and kind of just make little like hair like strokes, little X's, whatever, just to kind of make it look full. I do keep this just to the lower half of the muzzle. I don't go on to the, um, the upper portion of the uh, face. Next, we're going to go and fill in the brows. Again, dipping into that black cream paint and just following the natural structure of my brows, doing a solid black line on the bottom and then hair like strokes all along the top. You want him to be bushy, obviously. He's a lion. So, no, you don't have to be super precise. You just want to make him look really full. And the scar's on the left side, so you could kind of leave a gap in that brow to be able to fill in that scar. Moving on to the scar itself, I have another thin paintbrush and I'm dipping into the white. I haven't mixed it with any color, just straight white. And you're going to kind of make a half moon shape kind of going through the brow and then below your eyeball. And you can kind of shade it later on if you want to make it look a little, have a little more dimension. Here I messed up and brought it down a little too far. Now we're gonna dip into the Violet Voss palette. Uh, we're gonna dip into cinnamon and kind of start adding some dimension and color to the eyes. His eyes are kind of a maroon color, so we're gonna mimic that with a mix of maroon, kind of dark brown from the Frankation palette, and then a little bit of black using a different, uh, using that eyeliner again. I use a big fluffy brush just because it covers a lot of space fairly quickly. We're not really doing this with any sort of detail. And we're also going very far in on the inner corner to give us um, a little more dimension as well. Now I'm dipping back into that eyeliner. I'm gonna tight line and on the upper lash line and the lower lash line and then kind of smoke it all out just to give the eyes some real um, kind of evil deep dimension. And then we're gonna put lashes uh, and mascara and lashes on top of that. I also put some of that brown shadow around the perimeter of the face. I kind of sped through a bunch of this or else it would take forever but you can see on the forehead, I just did a little bit uh, around there and along where we put the hair-like strokes just to give the face a little bit of dimension too so it's not so flat.
All right, you guys, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. I did try to put in fake fangs, but that didn't work out. So this is what we got for a little wig. Don't mind my naked ear down there. I really love it. I'm so glad I even tried it from the beginning. I think it's really fun and uh, it's fairly easy to do. And yeah, if you like this video, don't forget, to, don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys.